right? Any kind of functionality? Yeah. Is that Amit, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, the process is running in the managed server of the business processes, which cater to your business needs. Yes, absolutely true. And you are connecting to any the database where you want to connect to which yeah 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 so 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 I mean this is a this is a bit on the development side question but yes that's a good question the thing is suppose you are a SOA developer or you are a web center developer right then during your development you need to connect to to a edge application database suppose you need to connect to the <coughs> you can say uh, the b -b -b Oracle database which is not in SOA right now you using the data sources is a very classic concept of WebLogic which says you that every time in your code when you need to establish a connection you do not need to give these parameters every time hang on I will show you if you just go to if you just see my screen so you agree with me right Manoj uh, sorry Amit that from even from a basic Java class where where we are asked to write a basic JDBC coding we need to give the URL the database user ID and the password you agree with me or not? Yeah. Yeah. So this is the very classic concept of data sources which says that hey, let's go and define it in one place. Now when suppose you are you are developing five processes, I am developing five processes, Jagan is developing five processes. From these 15 processes, if anybody ever needs to access this database, let him not write these connection parameters in his code. Let his code only use the JDBC for it. Where is the JDBC? Yeah, that is connection. Uh, connection only use. So from your Java code, if you just use this, that's it. You are done. Which means when you deploy your process, see, uh, I mean, this is a business process. So you would be deploying your process into managed server, which is so a server process, right? Now in this managed, so whenever you will deploy your process in this managed server, that would mean. If your process is having JDBC slash SOA data source, you are right away connecting to uh, uh, to where this database. Now, but but, but for that, but for that, let me finish. But for so that, this data source right. needs to be targeted to the managed server where you are deploying your business process. Is it clear? Yeah, yeah. So all processes running in on those managed servers have defined that Jindi name and. That's getting connected to this source here. Yeah. Absolutely, yes. Um, that brings a, a different question. Yeah. When, when database receives uh, a common connection from the one of the managed servers, mm -hmm. and if one of the connection is actually misbehaving, how to find out who is the actual? Um, uh, how to how to trace back and find out? Um, now who is actually doing what and how to uh, uh, what kind of problem that connect, that particular connection is creating you know now if it is individual user yes we can tell you so and so person is connecting uh, pick up the phone and call him and you are doing a long running transaction please can you can you log out and all those things I guess in a, in a connection pooling structure the only thing we can do as a database administrator is just to kill if the person is really creating a lot of noise a um, lot of activity I think there is no reason, there is no way to trace back because they finally end up being some one of the application process, right? Yeah. Can you see the highlighted portion in the screen? Yeah. That's the way to track. Well, yeah, as you told that most of, in, in, in most cases it is going to be a common uh, user ID and uh, common password because it is going to be uh, actually it is going to be instantiating that connection to multiple multiple connections from the managed server so mm -hmm. um, in the database level you are going to see maybe hundreds of connections coming from this uh, uh, managed server all of them will have the same user ID and password right not all not all Jagan not all, all. You, can I mean, uh, 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 you know sorry somebody to uh, hello Amit did you say something I missed at database level, you can track down the misbehaving SQL or something, which is yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, just to just to answer Jagan's question a bit more. Suppose this this user in your screen that you see uh, Jagan. Suppose that is user equals to A. That is what I pinged in the chat. Suppose let's call that user equals to A. Okay. 
-hmm. Now I will go back to the data source. And I will show you one more data source. If you see this user is B. Okay. So by this, by this, I mean this is the see, obviously I am no database expert, but what I know that when I use this data source, then this will be the user to hit the data source or access data from the uh, sorry, to hit the database or access data from the database, but when I use user equals to A, then then the then the database will be having only that option of I mean not option. Database will be having that detail that okay, user A is now trying to reach me. It's not this user B, which is RSR, CMG, ERD, whatever. It's like that. Blah blah blah. So so basically, basically, if you want to define individual um, individual user ID connections, then there should be that many data sources defined, and the program should the the application program should use that data source. Then we will we we have individual connections as well. That is yeah. So so in this case, what you are trying to track down, Jagan, is that suppose you have a database which is in machine one, you have SOA server which is in machine two. Okay. Now from machine in in machine two, you have around thirty, you know, thirty SOA processes de uh, deployed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now. The actual design is, and which is, and trust me, which is followed in all across Fusion Middleware projects, is that uh, not only Fusion Middleware, in all web logic projects, is that all these third, like you have these thirty uh, processes deployed in machine two, right? Now, among these thirty processes, suppose you have around you know ten thousand lines of coding. Now, mm -hmm. from these ten thousand lines of coding, suppose uh, you need to access the same database in machine one for the same user, not the user, forget the user, you need to access the same same database in machine one, right? Trust mm -hmm. me, it is the same user that is being used for each of these processes. So now it is the developer's responsibility who is developing these 30 uh, BPL processes or fusion middleware processes to make sure that he doesn't write a crappy code. By which I mean to say that if he writes a Java code, and then he opens the connection and forgets to close it, forgets to write the simple statements con dot close or connection dot close, then you would hit this problem. But if he is using the data source method, trust me this problem will not be hit. And that is the only way to track. So from a so from a database architect point of view or from a database administrator's point of view, you do not have the option of saying that, hey Rahul, your process X out of those 30 processes is causing a causing so and so hits in my database. You only have the option that hey Rahul, one of your please please can you go and check your processes? One of your processes which is accessing my database with this user has a problem. Which process it is your responsibility to find out from the code. Your as in mine. Who has okay. developed these 30 SOA processes. Does that make sense? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. So that's that's a normal scenario. I mean in real world, nobody will, I mean a database administrator has not got a single opportunity or he doesn't have the option of pinpointing to uh, statements like this that, okay, in the SOA process, process number 27, there is a code, there is a code in line number 1417 which is causing the problem. No, he can only say that, hey, all of your 30 processes might be some of them is using this user, can you see this process is causing the problem. That's it. That's the only way to track. Okay. Is it here, Jagan and Amit? Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool.